good, y'all. Problems with sexual King Carlos and his bitch. More than patients changing to Lexapro. Also known as acetalopram. You still crippling. Yeah. But, um, how y'all doing, man? I want to speak on something. First off, I want to apologize to Walker. You know. That's first and foremost. I want to apologize to Walker Flocker for what I said about him. I was misinformed. And I was speaking out of turn. And I'm a man, so I can apologize to another man without feeling bad about it. And I'm going to put that in the title of the video. But, um, I want to speak on something, man. I think a lot of, well, a lot of people know, a lot of people have, have, uh, got their own reasons to justify it and stuff like that. But, um, when Gucci Man got out, man, he didn't really fuck with, he did not just stop fucking with his own partners, my nigga. He didn't fuck with anybody that he used to be cool with. You know, he stopped fucking with his family. You know, if I was watching Frenchie, and a lot of people, and I, and I already told y'all my view on this shit. I don't, I don't like. I don't really, um. I don't need the kind of proof most niggas need when they feel like video and shit. I'm one of them niggas, and I told y'all this. This not. This is a gift. I don't care who believe it. I can look at somebody and tell when they're being sincere and being truthful, and I can look at somebody and tell when they're lying. Um. When you have somebody, like, like, all right, put it like this. The fact that most people don't believe Frenchie, first off, because he in a regular apartment, and Gucci Man has a lot of money, and Frenchie don't. So niggas assume that Frenchie is bitter. Automatically off top. But he, Frenchie is hating. But like he said, bro, Frenchie been knowing Gucci Man since before he was rapping. You know what I'm saying? That's Walker Flocka's cousin. That's Walker Flocka's blood cousin. So, um... I don't think it's no bitter hate shit. And he didn't sound bitter to me. He was just saying... Gucci Man, uh... Puts out this image that he tries to put on... He puts all, all, every artist on, but... And he was saying this on an older podcast, and I noticed it. All them artists that everybody say Gucci Man get put on... They don't grow big until Gucci Man go to prison. And then niggas come out and say, oh, he came up from under Gucci Man. True, but Gucci Man didn't put him out like that. Gucci Man just went to prison. And because he's associated with Gucci Man, he blew up on his own. But when Gucci Man comes out, guess how he tries to little nigga all those artists. Or, you know what I'm saying? Put it like this. Even the shit where he tweeted out when he first met the Migos that had fake chains and Takeoff didn't agree with it. You see that that was some real shit because he even said he had like some real disagreement with Takeoff because, like, like it's try, he tried a little nigga. He tries a little nigga, everybody. <sighs> It's like, Gucci Man really sold dope. Gucci Man really killed people. Gucci Man only killed one person. Gucci Man is a real nigga, but nobody else in Atlanta is. Everybody else in Atlanta is fake. I never, that's that's one reason why I say I fuck with his music, but personally, I never got it. I, I told you, I don't rock with no man who says he's the only man in the world, my nigga. You're not. You're not the toughest nigga in the world. You're not the, you're not the only nigga with a gun. You're not the only nigga to get pussy. You're not the only, it's, you're not the only nigga with cars. Like, I'm, I never boast like that shit. I'm, I got a good. I, I I I ain't gonna say I'm a millionaire or nothing, but I keep money in my pocket. I know I'm gonna stay working to. I know I'm gonna always keep money to the day I die. I'm not gonna ever try to go. I'm not gonna ever go without if I don't have to. As long as I have breath in my body and I can use my hands and my feet and my skills that I know how to make money with. <laughs> Every time I make a video, my sinuses mess up. I don't know what that is. It's weird, bro. Every time I make a video, my sinuses like the way my voice changes like this. It always does that, bro. When I'm making a video. But anyway, I guess it's I guess it's me trying to put I guess it's me trying to talk. I ain't trying to talk a certain way or nothing. But I guess it's me my body knowing I'm on camera, so it's like kind of tensing up in a way. It's weird. I think the, I think cameras are powerful like that. But anyway. Um Yeah, niggas that act like 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 put like this like I like I keep money. I know I I ain't no I ain't no ugly nigga. I'm handsome. I get a lot of I get I get a lot of looks from women. You know what I'm saying? I get a lot of bad bitches. I not well I ain't gonna say I get a lot of bad bitches. Cause right now I'm single and I wish I had some women here. I wish I had somebody here. A bad bitch here right now. So I ain't gonna say I get a lot of bad bitches bad bitches. But I'm not no ugly dude. You you get what I'm saying, bro. And um I have a car. It's a lot of niggas that don't even have a car, man. But um I don't brag about that. And I know those people saying, well that's regular. Well put it like this, but what's not everything 
there's nothing that somebody has and nobody doesn't unless you're one of the third percent and one unless you're one of the thir- 13 bloodlines of the illuminati and you probably got everything other than that there's there's not one trinket that somebody has that somebody else doesn't have bro so nobody is special even people who think they're special you know what i'm saying so i hate when niggas say stupid shit like that um i don't know my nigga I don't, Gucci, I don't know, bro, you got to think, Gucci man didn't invite his own mama and his own brother to his, his, uh, his wedding, and then, the fact that, and this is the thing that gets, this is the thing, what, what did I do that for, that wasn't even a bug, this is just a damn ladybug, you see this fucking look, you see how I jumped for this damn ladybug, what the fuck, anyway, I don't know. Anyway, um, damn, what was I talking about? Um, oh yeah, the thing that really alarms me about Gucci Man and people, and, and a lot of people say, well, niggas don't speak on shit if it's not true, just to not give it light. Oh no, this is kind of alarming to me not to speak on. You got to speak on this. When they came out, I think it was Vlad. They came out and said Gucci Man's son is like mentally retarded or something like that. Like Gucci Man's first son. Bam Bam or something, the one that Frenchie was talking about. And I could tell Frenchie and him, Frenchie loves him, so I know he's not going to say anything like that. Because if that is true and Gucci Man is sensitive about that, he probably don't want to press that button on Gucci Man. Which, to me, that's a that's bullshit because that's actually Gucci Man being ashamed of his son for being like... And, and if that's true, I think that I think that Gucci Man is... You a whole-ass nigga, bro. Straight up. What? You didn't kill mamas. Why? She was like, you're tricky. Oh, I ain't tripping. Just make sure she don't eat that, that white packet. Fucking bad. Back, go back, bear. But um, oh shit, what was I saying? I don't know, bro. If that's true, my nigga. If Gucci Man has a son, I, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I look at him and Keisha, they come off like that. Y'all come off like so snobbish, and y'all think y'all so perfect. You would be ashamed of your. You would. You like you would be ashamed of your son if he was mentally retarded. If that's true, bro, you need to be. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. Fuck you, straight up. Fuck you and your ass, my nigga. Fuck that label, 1017. You, all that shit, my nigga. I'm just saying, if that's true, if you really are saying to your son, fuck you, my nigga. I think people like you need to be fucking, um, something bad need to be done to you, straight up. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Straight up, fuck you. If that's true, my nigga. If you're ashamed of your son because he meant to retarded Gucci man, Roderick Davis, your real name, fuck you, nigga. Eat a dick. That's from King Carlos, nigga. Fuck you. Do something. Yeah. You know, this, I'm not trying to talk tough or nothing like that. I'm not. I really not. I swear I'm not. It's, it just, it just that makes me mad. I'm not no tough guy, bro. But I would, cause I'm not. No, I wouldn't fight nobody of no gang color. But I would try to. I would hurt a motherfucker that's ashamed of their son because they're mentally retarded. You got people that, cause I seen people like that in the mall, man. That's evil. You know why your son is like that motherfucker? Because the most I knew you were an evil person, and he put a burden in your life to slow your ass down so you wouldn't die. But you, you ignored the burden. You don't even take care of your son, from what I'm seeing. If that is true, so yeah, whatever, nigga. That's not a, and that's a curse too. That's a, that's a generational curse. You know, so I want you to take care of your son too. And it'll humble you as a man because you need that in your life. That's why the, the most, if you ever wonder why people are born like with retarded children or with buried diseases like that, that's a generational curse, but it's also so the most I could put a burden in their life to slow them down. You ever heard that? You ever heard somebody say that? I'm glad I had kids because it slowed me down. Same kind of thing. But um, that, that's alarming to me. But then they say, yeah, they, they say you didn't invite your mama. Or your brother to your wedding. So I assume that your son didn't go. That's 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 kind of weird, bro. And then you and Keisha don't have no kids together. So it's just y'all in that house. And I ain't never heard him say anything about his kids, man. I ain't never heard Gucci man say nothing about his kids. Like, ever. Some people say that's just private. Man, fuck all that, my nigga. You talk about it. You get online and talk about everything else. You ain't private about your, your wife. It's your life. You be showing your wife. Nigga, you showing your wife what up? Nice juicy ass booty, nigga. On live when you be talking about something, this is what the wop doing. So if you show your wife goodies, my nigga, you you should be able to talk about your son. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of weird, bro. I ain't never heard Gucci man say nothing about his children. Let me find out Gucci man is ashamed of his children. But anyway, man, by far, I know this is gonna be a long video, but shout out to anybody that's still sticking with me and all you whole ass niggas to just log off the video because it's not some theatrical shit or there ain't no bitches in the background twerking or something. Y'all y'all niggas lame, bro. Straight up, y'all motherfuckers ain't about nothing. But to my real niggas that watch the whole video, bro, like, comment, subscribe, dislike. I'll mention create all that. I'm not finna end the video yet, but y'all know what it is. But um
fucking pair. But, uh, yeah, man. Speaking on some other shit that he talked about, Frenchie talked about how he walked up on Gucci Man, bro, in like 2017 or something in the VIP, and Keisha tapped him. And then he told some other nigga to come tell Frenchie that they, oh, he just got off parole. He can't be around him right now. It's just business. It's not personal. His parolee is in the building. Bro, why, when the fuck did you care about your parolee? And this another thing, too, that I uh, got. And I ain't no diss against Keisha, but she fucked. But uh, and you know what? No, 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 no. This ain't this ain't to diss Keisha. This to diss you, bro. Because this, because uh, she holds you down. And this is to all you niggas, bro. I want to let you know something. If you go to prison right now for five years, my nigga, you hear me? You a young nigga, you in the streets. You go to prison for five years, bro. And your girl holds you down, which means she come to see you. Not even If it's not twice, three times a month, at least once a month, the whole five years you in prison, and she putting money in your books, if she fucking one of your niggas, you just got to take that. And when you get out, you need to put a ring on her finger and be with her because she held you down for five years. And I know you might not. A lot of you niggas might be able to swallow that. You young niggas, it's like, hell no, I'm just telling you, bro. Your ass is in prison. She could just forget about you, my nigga. She could just forget about you. You can't do nothing about it. You don't get out until five years. She can move on with her life. But if she stay with your ass, like she, like Keisha stay with Gucci, man. Hey, man, if she fucked your Gotti, my nigga, you just got to take that loss, man. If Keisha fucked your Gotti, you just got to take that loss, my nigga. I'm sorry. You was in prison. She was putting money on your books. Like you said, you gave her $2 million, bro. She turned that shit into $20 million. When you got out, she was with you. Come on, bro. So how the fuck you gonna be mad at your Gotti for that? Because he, but but you still mad at your Gotti? Come on, my nigga, get over it. It's just the truth, bro. But that's why you mad at your Gotti. You mad at anybody that associate with your Gotti? Come on, bro. Don't do no whole ass shit like that, bro. You still fuck with Zaytoven and them, though. That shit's stupid, my nigga. And then for you to get on there with Big Bank and all that shit, and uh, you speaking some real shit. You know what I'm saying? But for you to get on there and um, say you're getting the whole city back together and all this and that, and but you still ain't saying nothing about Frenchie or Walker or, or like the people that you... This, this is what I don't get, bro. All the people you started with. And like I said, I still ain't heard this nigga say nothing about his family, like his his kids. Like, I ain't never heard this nigga say nothing about his kids, bro. The old, when he was out, he used to talk about, like, before he went to prison, he talked about his son, had his son sitting up on 20 mil. I ain't heard you say shit. I ain't heard this nigga say shit about his son, bro. Like it all. Like it all, my nigga. I don't think, I, I don't know, man. It just comes off like that, bro. She, and then she come off like they would, like, you come off like you would be ashamed of your kids, my nigga, if one of the, if he was meant to be retarded, my nigga. I'm sorry, bro. You try to portray this perfect lifestyle, like, how the fuck, you a thug and all this shit, and you still a street nigga, and you, you what's the name of But you doing interviews, and you, you go to the spa, and all this other weird ass shit. You wear, you wear rompers and shit. You doing songs with Little Pump, and all this other bullshit. You do songs with artists that have no integrity, that snitch and do all this shit. But you talk about, like, I don't get it, but you, you do songs with artists, yeah, songs with artists that we know are snitches and hoes, but you talk about some niggas is police and niggas ain't. That's why I had to make, this throughout the beginning of this video, I apologize for walking, man. You know what I'm saying? I really had, I was, I just been studying that situation this whole time, y'all, just really looking up shit, looking up old facts, looking up old videos, reading the paperwork and shit like that, my nigga, like, nah, man, like, I don't get it, bro. You wildin' the fuck out. Shout out to Frenchie, man. Shout out to Walker. Shout out to the whole... The whole so icy. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody could be a brisk squad. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. You got you fucking all these new artists. You fucking all this new wave. I didn't even know you knew QCP now, but you them your partners and shit. I guess. I don't know. He don't like this like. I don't know, it's like all you niggas. It's like I know this Boosie do the same thing, girl. Because people be like, Boosie and Webby, he get mad and people like, oh, it's just he ain't on the, the he not on the label right now. I'm like, but Webby still doing music, bro. And Webby been dropping pro you know what's crazy? Webby been dropping projects this whole time. It's not that, it's just that he's not priority with the like he said the label still blackballing him because the B E T shit. So that's why they not fuck they not fucking with him. But you still fuck with your nigga and get street money. It's like see Boosie on some industry shit. He just want to straight up get that industry bag, be in the industry. He'll do anything to stay in the industry, my nigga. He'll do anything with these young niggas. Just, just. Well, I ain't going to say that, bro, because Boosie still got some integrity with him. But I ain't, so I ain't going to just jump out the mouth and say Boosie will do anything. 
But I will say, I noticed the same thing. Like all the like when it be two of them older niggas that came up, it's only one of them up now. Like Boosie and Webby down, Gucci up, and like his. Well, they're not they're not down, but they just like they they like underground and they don't get mentioned. Who else? Folk. Quiet. Stop. Stop it. That's not bad, man. For a while, you had Juicy. Well, they up now, but for a while, you had Juicy J and none of the 3 6 Mafia was rapping. And it was, but they all buzzed when you found out they was rapping the whole time, but they wouldn't get promoted. It's weird, my nigga. That's what bring up them industry politics and shit and make a nigga double question that shit. But anyway, shout out to all them, man. And um, I'm finna check out on this video. Big apology to Walker, man. And this is speaking on the French Gucci situation and also his son, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm probably gonna make a part two.